Good morning, ma'am. Hi, I'm Deepthi from Curious Times. Uh, we welcome you and uh, Primer School on board. And many thanks for accepting the invite of this on this Teacher's Day. And we sure to make this Teacher's Day special for you and your school. Um, we are, like we spoke, we want to start your interview. Uh, would you like to talk a little bit about the school and yourself? Sure. Uh, so thank you, Deepthi, first of all, you know, for having invited me. Uh, wish you also a very happy Teacher's Day. It's a great initiative uh, by you and your entire team. Well, my name is Mini Adhikari and I am principal of Primus Public School in Bangalore. I've been into teaching for nearly 20 years now. I started my journey as a computer science teacher moving on to teaching ICT at Cambridge levels, that is uh, IGCSE 10th, as well as AS and A level. And here at our school in Primus, Bangalore, we have, uh, we have an integrated curriculum, which is completely board agnostic up to grade five. And from grade six, we have both ICSE as well as IGCSE curriculum. And at 11th and 12th, we have the Cambridge and the State Board. So um, I would like to say that in our school, we give a lot of emphasis, not just on academics, but on a whole lot of sports uh, events and co-curricular activities, because somewhere in the last two years, we have all seen that academics, uh, yes, while it is a very important thing, but we want our children to go beyond books. We want them, it is their interpersonal skills come alive only by being with each other in the physical school and getting involved in all of these activities. So happy to be back in physical school after two years and all, all these activities when we see back in action, we are really very happy about that. Thank you. So ma'am, uh, today uh, for uh, Teachers Day, our theme this year is uh, teachers leading through crisis and reimagining future. So we've seen that in last two years and uh, how we've led through crisis, all the uh, you know uh, teachers and education system stepped in uh, in order to sort of you know ensure that the learning does not stop. And uh, now, uh, you know, we're also looking at after our two years of experience and uh, the way, uh, you know, uh, the world is moving, uh, how NAP has brought some changes in the way we, we are going to conduct our teaching learning. Um, you know, uh, our first question is like, you know, which obviously everybody will say that, you know, technology has to play a role uh, in education. The answer is yes. Uh, what we want to understand from you is that in your view, uh, what is the kind of role that technology is going to play? Uh, you know, basically pick up the whole landscape that you would want to talk about, uh, you know, not just uh, the Zoom classes and, and stuff, but what is that role that technology can actually play uh, in a country like India or in terms of learning and making the learning outcomes better? All right. I think, uh, you know, you, you rightly said that it's not just confining to the Zoom classes or to the Google Meet sessions that we have had in the last two years. It's technology is much, much more. And uh, to be very honest, you know, this generation that we teach, present generation, whether it is right from the kindergarten or to a grade 12 or to the college course as well, these are all digital natives. They are born with technology at the fingertips. And to teach them how to use any of the devices, it's, you know, it's, it's completely wrong because we are not teaching them. They already know it. It's our generation, the teachers here, what we do is we have to equip the children to take the teaching learning process to complete next level because usage of the device, they already know. And that is one thing which I will say that uh, what you know, I would again go back to the Cambridge program that we run. In this, the children are not confined just to a particular curriculum. They do so much of research, they go beyond books, uh, which means they have to learn to do right kind of search. And today, children, when I'm saying that they know to use the technology, they are in all kinds of platform. Uh, you know, recently we had our students who got into crowdfunding. It's a very uh, simple thing. 
where uh, the children had to be just given a little training about how to go about it and they went completely through the digital platform and believe me in just about two weeks time the students could uh, gather 6.27 lakhs now for a cause so children have that potential in them and we as teachers we don't have to teach them to use a gadget we just need to open up the horizons for them to tell them how to use to maneuver them to use it correctly it's more about that and um, i think here in our school what i would say is the two years of teaching online was not um, so difficult but rather the uh, teachers spent because we were using a lot of uh, digital devices even before that and hence it was catching up with just training learning up upskilling some more skills it was adding to that the good thing which has happened over the two years was teachers got the confidence they explored various applications and they themselves discovered that there is so much more in the technology world in the digital resources world rather i would like to say that they can explore and they can make the class very very lively so it's really empowered them a lot with this digital tool and uh, the very good thing one thing that i would like to uh, make a special mention about our school here is that our management was quick enough to quickly get these smart tvs the sensors tvs and because the teachers already were trained uh they already knew to use these uh, devices the various applications the various tools uh, whether it is to uh, creating a poster designing or it was bringing a video lesson into the class or gathering poll on a particular topic or conducting various kind of uh, events debating polling any of that they were trained and hence that skill had to be carried equally effectively into the classroom and the census tvs which immediately on the reopening when it has come in the classrooms it's really helping and i see uh, the whole community the whole teaching fraternity making the best use of that i am very happy uh, since i come from uh, the technology background my subject was ict i'm very happy to see the teachers use these digital devices in the classroom and i'm just yeah. hoping because uh, you know children also the senior children have started using mooc lessons a lot so they are making best use of that right yeah. that's that's fantastic uh, moving on to next subject you know uh, nap 2020 uh you know when it was launched or approved it was like you know uh, a sort of uh, away from school so i think the first year of real implementation is now um do you think nep 2020 is actually making uh, giving a lot of emphasis on co curricular activities uh, as well as skilling right uh, now uh, how will uh, for example you know schools make a room for this and uh, second part of it is like does this again um, add up to the learning outcomes of children Uh, definitely you know what we have seen i will again go back and uh, to prove the point that uh, this philosophy which uh, nep has come up with upskilling skill equip the children with skill is so true it is so right because you and i see in the industry a lot of children who come just from the rote learning uh, they have the knowledge they have probably the marks they have the right degrees but if you ask them to actually ground zero perform something they lack that skill so that is something which is very essential and very good of nep having introduced this into the school and uh, to me as a school leader i don't see that i need to create a separate room as such for that because most of the activities most of these events most of these tools were already there right it's just that we are now going to implement it more uh, in a more structured way when we talk about children uh, you know whether it is the atl lab uh, children actually going down to the lab and performing those experiments doing it the wow moment that the children generate in the classroom i'm sure that these children when they make the innovations when they create their own creations that is the kind of workforce that you and i would wish uh that you know when when our children pass out from school they have 
these skills with them. It's not just about the textbook knowledge. It is also knowledge equipped with uh, the right skill, the right attitude. So that is something uh, brilliant. It's very good. Uh, and I think every school should find ways and means in their existing premise itself. There are those periods like uh, the SUPW period, for example, right? Give them, give them those skills which they require so that they have the actual hands-on experience uh, before they leave school. Okay. And uh, so, you know, basically if you... Uh, if you actually look at NEP, it is all it is emphasizing on skills, but a uh, lot of curricular, uh, non non conventionally co curricular activities are also being, uh, you know, trying to being fitted into the mainstream. So, uh, will that actually help in terms of whatever was originally sort of being delivered in a curriculum? Does that improve Definitely, their learning? Because it definitely, because see, oh, you and I have understood over these last two years that uh, we also talk about mental uh, health well-being. Uh, what was lacking in the two years was these children not being able to communicate, to be able to interact, that interpersonal skill with their peers. It's uh, Everybody was confined within four walls. And somewhere what happens is when you are confined within uh, your four walls, you happen to bump onto the so same people, same faces, same uh, attitudes. Uh, so uh, there is a, a limit there, but that is not what children want. They want variety, right? We want them to get the right kind of exposure to different kinds of people to, uh, to be able to adapt accommodate a lot of times when it comes to peer uh, group learning and a lot of peer interaction. Now that was something missing. And when they are back to the school or oh, when they're having these co curricular activities. So here in our school, I would just take a little um, off track to support it with an example. What we do is we ask every class, every section to do, to perform to put up a special assembly now in which the entire thing is planned and uh, sometimes the children script it as well right from the start to the end which involves all the students of a class so imagine there were 30 students in a class there will be some who are script writers there are some who are preparing who are working on the props some are of course participating it could be a piece of skit it could be um, uh, musical instruments that they are going to play a little a band kind of thing uh, songs group song, group dance, a little quiz which is created, implemented completely by them. So they are learning how to keep the score, how to time it. So the entire dynamics of putting a program is completely uh, tailor-made by the children. Now that involves a lot of interpersonal skills, their own thought-provoking questions to each other, planning, um, talking, time management, because they're not going to get uh, additional periods to work on all of this. They have to learn to manage whether it is their lunch break, where they gather together, um, plan their skit to work. They're also using the digital platform to uh, collaborate and come up with a skit or any of those planning. Now, we as grown-ups, when, we when, we when we were into the industry, we learned uh, to uh, have this team dynamics to work with each other at a much later age. But these children are very fortunate and you'll be really glad to see the kind of uh, work that these children come out ultimately. So okay. I think uh, that again, emphasis on the co-curricular is very important. It's not confined to just one activity. It is a making of a wholesome person, a whole lot of confidence which comes out in the children by doing that. Right. And ma'am, uh, since we, we're focusing this year's uh, theme is around reimagining future, as we reimagine, uh, you know, the school uh, systems, uh, uh, you know, big conversation is around the mental health of children. 
and mental well-being of children uh, considering uh, you know the children today are um, are are having far more complex uh, you know decisions to make in terms of careers or be it in terms of relationships or you know the external peer pressure environment that is being created uh, a lot of distraction is actually uh, put on to the um, multimedia and devices around them so uh, what role can teachers you know and we'll emphasize especially on teachers because the occasion is this as well as how we are going to look at uh, schooling for children what role can teachers play in uh, you know uh, ensuring mental health and well-being of children uh, ma'am could you get my question i'm losing your voice here yeah I'm could you your voice uh okay uh, is it fine now hello can you hear me ma'am hello um ma'am can you hear me yeah can you hear me uh maybe i'll just stop the video yeah ma'am can you hear me better now uh can you hear me better ma maybe we if you could also uh, uh, switch off your video maybe we can hear you better no no hello um ma'am maybe you can log in again hello if you want me to sign in again yes 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 maybe that's better oh yeah can you hear me now uh yeah no ma'am uh hello yes yeah this is slightly better maybe uh you can log uh you can log out and log in again sure so ma'am we were discussing about uh, reimagining of uh, you know the school the classrooms and how we reimagine education now uh, given all the changes coming in uh, we have a very pertinent question which comes up and it's important uh, from the fact that there is a lot happening in the 21st century kids life um, there is a lot of emphasis on mental health and mental well being of children um, there there is a element of covid which has actually added to uh, added to children's uh, you know uh, social uh, being Uh, and social anxieties that are there more moreover you know the entire pressure that exists on children in today's times we just want to understand your views on what role can teachers play in uh, you know uh, giving a better uh, environment to children or the mental well being of children overall okay so i think here is something that i'd like to say is that teachers play a great role in molding in shaping up the children's future because uh, while yes a teacher may be teaching just a subject uh, but there is so much so much more to the classroom dynamics so um, if a teacher is just teaching mathematics or, or or physics or social studies or a language uh, the kind of example that she chooses or there are a lot of discussions which happen in the classroom today the kind of assignment the kind of project that they give is uh, it can touch upon a lot of things where you can have these discussions with the children and um, uh, many times we see especially post pandemic that uh, there are certain insights with the teachers get from the conversation uh, and we we get those vibes so it is that much easy for the teacher by striking the right kind of conversation the discussion giving an open a very uh, open culture 
to her students in the classroom uh, that a child is free to come up, speak to the teacher. And uh, we have in the past uh, found that some of the teachers were able to uh, connect a rapport with the child. The child would come and discuss their problems with the teacher. The teacher could guide the child to go to the counselor. Sometimes it's not just about uh, the uh, the counselor who helps them with dealing with their uh, problems or the social anxiety, uh, but sometimes it's also about their anxiety about the future. So um, I think career counseling, um, in, especially in the last two years, the career counseling came that much easier because it was very easy for children to touch base with the career counselors online. It was very easy to have those uh, meetings. Well, in school also, it's uh, good, it's important. We give exposure to children, not to just one kind of career option, but to a, to a variety of um, career options which exist today. Because today it's not just about uh, you know, medical or medicine or uh, engineering. There is so much more to the creative uh, mindset or to people who uh, like to prepare food, a whole bunch of things, design, technology, any of the, those, you name it, and it's there. So uh, the career counselor, as well as the school counselor, play a very important role with the help of uh, the subject and the class teachers, I think, um, to have the right kind of uh, rapport between them is highly essential. And I think every great teacher must get into that kind of quality school time with her children to understand them better, if required, mentor them a little extra beyond the class hours. Yes. Uh, yeah, ma'am. So, uh, you know, my last question for uh, today yes, would be, uh, yeah, uh, you know, there is a lot of, there is a lot of emphasis on, uh, you know, there's a lot of thing around ed tech. There's a lot of emphasis about, you know, extra uh, classes beyond school, coaching beyond school, curriculum, you know, then expecting, uh, you know, basically the kids, the children have a day of eight hours with school. And then there is this three, four hours, which outside of school they are studying. Um, in your opinion, like, you know, what are these, uh, do, do we really need these extra coaching classes? And where do we need this? And how does, uh, how do, you know, the coaching classes or ed tech companies, are they supplementing the school education in any form? Uh, and what do you think is their role uh, today uh, when I look at the children of 21st century and the careers they need to pursue later? Uh, all right. Now, that's quite a big question, I would say, because, uh, but I will um, limit my answer to understanding the premise that we live in. While, yes, if you ask me my philosophy on that, I would say that if a child has studied eight hours in school, I think that should be a complete package by itself. Beyond that, it should at best be uh, doing a little more research, uh, going, conducting a couple of interviews if required by their, um, from, you know, people from the community, their relatives, um, or, or any adults in the surrounding who come from the expert industry uh, to do that. So we should give them maybe extended tasks related to the concepts we are being taught in school so that they can make those actual connections to these topics which are being taught uh, in school. Uh, but yes, uh, you know, we live uh, in a society, in a community where most of us follow a, a particular uh, curriculum. And uh, yes, so we have to do justice to that also. And having said that, uh, most of the schools, including us, uh, would definitely plan our scheme of work in such a way that we are teaching the national curriculum framework concepts, skills according to the certain age as specified by um, NCF. Uh, and we do, everyone tries to do activities so that it's more meaningful to the children so that they, their concept understanding also translates into the skill development. We are doing that. Now that by itself should be a complete thing within the school hours. 
uh, as I said, if we can extend a little bit more um, extension tasks like uh, projects and interviews and all of that. But uh, also on this, in the same class, we do have those children who have that kind of high potential and we need, we need those kind of sharp people, the scientists, the researchers, we need those kind of people also in the society. So it may not be too bad idea for those children to be able to go for additional coaching if they have to uh, crack certain entrance exams. It may not be too bad idea because, but uh, what I would like to also add to the same point is we as a community, as educators, as a teaching fraternity should not push everyone into that because each individual is different and we have to allow the creativity in each child to bloom as per them what they are right so everyone should not be pushed into that but whoever can do it but the whole thing has to come from within that has to come from the 